Hello, how are you? It has been forever since I last had a video, hasn't it? Well, let me tell you why. I was doing all this work to put together my studio and I carried down drywall and I carried heavy pieces of furniture and we put up drywall and we painted the walls and the ceiling and we just did so much work and it was all fine. And then, see that rug right there? I decided I wanted it to be six inches over that way. So I gave it a pull. And I think I've told you before, I have calcific tendonitis on one of my shoulders. And so I've got a calcium deposit right here. And I get shots for it. And they, I can get them once every three months. And it had been five weeks since I had my last shot. And my shoulder just went, F you. F you, Monique. Want nothing to do with this anymore, and my shoulder completely froze up on me. So I was unable to lift my arm for a little while. So I was able to get into the fourth doctor at Kaiser. Uh, I've been shuttled around, and they finally put me with a woman, and she actually explained what's going on with my shoulder and why each man has sort of passed me along. And surgery is not really an option for me. So I asked her what she would do and she said, every time you've gotten a shot, it's been from behind, right? And I said, yeah. She's like, I'm, what I would do is I would get a steroid injection deep inside the shoulder joint and follow that up with uh, physical therapy and, you know, pain meds. I take Mobic, which is an NSAID. Um, so she, we did, that's what we did. And I now have most of the mobility back in my shoulder. I still have a lot of discomfort. I don't do much with it. And that's where I've been the last few weeks. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just couldn't carry my ring light downstairs or my makeup downstairs or really do anything. I've been just a giant slob waiting for my right arm to function because I'm extremely right-handed. So that's where I've been. And that's why my hair kind of looks like crap because it's really difficult for me to style my hair right now. So I just wanted to say hi and I thought I would do sort of the makeup look that I've been doing. I don't, I don't really leave my house much. My place, my downstairs is not decorated fully yet. This is a set of curtains that I like, but this is not the final way it's going to look. So I can't show you that. Right now, there is a lot of coronavirus in Los Angeles and I know the place where I want to go downtown to get my drapes, but I don't really feel like I want to go downtown right now. It just doesn't feel terribly safe. There are zero ICU beds in Los Angeles. One in 80 per people have coronavirus. So I'm just staying home and laying low and not really wearing makeup, which I gotta tell you, my skin is loving. My skin is really happy that I'm not wearing makeup much anymore. But every once in a while, I have to do a Zoom interview or a Zoom meeting uh, about a number of things. And this is the makeup that I've been doing with liking my skin. What that means is I haven't been using any foundation. I've been doing the least amount of makeup possible. So today's video is a long explanation about where I've been and a tiny little bit of very little makeup. So let's get to it, shall we? And you know, I'll tell you what brands I'm using, but you use whatever brands you have at home because this is not about we're all in a place right now. Nobody needs to be spending any money. I've been basically unemployed for months on end. Um, I did get to shoot a commercial 
with my mother, which was amazing. It was just the most amazing experience. So at some point you will get to see that. And uh, it was just, just a joy to work with her. And oh, she was luminous on camera, the most beautiful woman. So I'm, I'm gonna be very excited when that comes out. It's for a product called MedElert. So I'll let you know when that is going to be online and available where you can see me and my mom in a commercial together. So let's put some stuff under these eyes. That is always my main thing. Let's get under the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just put some sleep on. This was something that was sent to me for free. NARS sent me a whole bunch of makeup, which is really awesome. I'm loving it, except for the fact that I'm not really wearing makeup right now. But I will be again someday. There is a vaccine now and things are going to change and life will be starting again. And I will be wearing a whole bunch of NARS cosmetics. So this is a new concealer that they have, and I really, really have come to like it. At first I thought it was a little heavy, but as I've played with it, I've really grown to like it. Because I'm not fully set up yet here in my studio, I'm putting my mirror on my lap because, yeah. It's what I've got. Otherwise, I would be over here and you can barely see me. I'm not guaranteeing they'll see me as it is, but well, here we go. So, let, do I even have glasses down here? No. This is their light number two, vanilla. And I've just been doing under the eyes and around the nose because from years of allergies, I have redness right here. I find that by doing a little bit of concealer right here, it kind of opens up the eye a little bit. But I really try to keep the concealer away from the wrinkles. By the way, gonna have a video for you soon showing uh, these wrinkle reducing patches. They're pretty awesome, so you should check it out. So I use a small brush to get into the little detailed areas. Then I use my larger soft blend concealer brush. You could also use a sponge if you prefer using a blender sponge. And then I'm applying a powder simply to just sort of give everything an evenness and get rid of some shine, just to mat it down a little bit, but not a lot. That's why I'm not going with foundation. It just doesn't really stick as much on a clean face as it does on foundation. The powder that I'm using is Black Opal. 
This is used all the time on movie sets because it's very matte and it works with a lot of skin tones. You can use a brush. I'm using a puff. I do add a little bit of blush uh, just because I tend to look pale on camera and it's just, it just gives me a little more life because again, this makeup is mostly for when I've got Zoom meetings. The blush that I'm using is from Sigma Cosmetics and they did send this to me at no cost and it should be available on QVC. I'm just taking a sort of pink tone, just, just a little. That's it. My eye makeup is very, very simple. I'm tight lining under my eyes. I know that's difficult for a lot of people. Um, I actually find it, one time I did a video where I called it the blind faith challenge and I did my makeup on without looking in a mirror, and I will say that it was actually easier to put my do my tight lining on my upper eyelid without looking at it. Have I made that a habit? No, I have not. But it's worth giving it a shot, and I'll put a link to the video if you wanna check it out. Put it right up there. It's also easier when you're holding your mirror on your lap because you're looking down and it just, I don't know, it seems to make it easier. I recommend giving your lashes a curl. And mascara. Some of the makeup that NARS sent me was Climax Extreme Mascara. There are two mascaras that they sent me. They sent me Climax Extreme and Climax. And Climax Extreme is a really thick, chunky mascara. So if you like a lot of lash thickening, go with this one. And that was hard to say, lash thickening. <laughs> go with the, the Climax Extreme. But for underneath, unless you're doing a really, really heavy makeup, I would go with a much lighter mascara. It is really heavy for on the lower lashes. You can see how impressive that mascara is. And you know, a lot of times I don't even do my lower lashes. I'm gonna give, let that dry for a minute, uh, throw something on my lips. My lips 
Gosh, my lips get chapped in the winter time. Don't yours? It's just, just like the winds kick up and they just, and I cannot seem to keep enough Carmex on them or Blistex, Blistex or yeah, Blistex. Blistex is what we have in Howard's car. Carmex is what I have next to my bed. And then I have one that I really like that I keep in my purse that tastes like cake, but I couldn't tell you what the name of it is. <laughs> <laughs> my purse is upstairs and I am downstairs, so I'm not going to go get it right now, but I'll, I'll show it to you one of these days because it's so yummy. But boy, it's like my lips are just chapped all the time lately. I'm going to give myself a little lip liner using just a nude tone lip. Which one is this? This is Milani, which is something I got at the drugstore. And it is impossible for nude nude is the shade doesn't go on much right now because i have carmex on my lips and i'm not taking that carmex off my lips i always go a little over line on the top i know school I love my Revlon lip balm stain in honey it's not going to stay on quite as well because of the lip balm that I have on with the Carmex but Let's face it, for a Zoom meeting, you're gonna put on your makeup and put on your outfit or whatever from the top up and you've got jammies on the bottoms down and you're gonna do your Zoom meeting and then as soon as it's done, you don't care what your face looks like because nobody's gonna see you the rest of the day. <laughs> if you want to, you can hit that with a little gloss. If you've got uber chapped lips, this is also uh, Milani. Milani. And that's it. Now, if you are interested in doing a highlight, I do like a highlight for camera more than I like a highlight for daytime life. I think highlighting either needs to be done for camera work or for nighttime going out, but I do not recommend it for daytime outdoors because it's just, it looks garish. That being said, this is for on camera. So I'm putting some highlight on. I like highlight in a sort of a C shape around here, not getting too close to the eyes because you want to be careful of the wrinkles. And it depends on how lined your eyes are. But basically you want to hit highlight anywhere that you want to stand out a little bit more. So we're just going to do a little highlight right in there. just to make that pop out a little bit more. Not a lot, just a little bit. And some things I am having to learn to do left-handed because I still have some mobility issues. And Right now, I'm I'm feeling like I'm feeling like I have a bomb that could go off any moment in my body. I 
I was really amazed at how much that frozen shoulder hurt. I mean, I've been hit by a car and I held my pelvis broken and I've never had anything that hurt as much as that frozen shoulder. And frozen shoulder is something a lot of us go through. It's mostly women and it hits us mostly as we get around my age, 40s, 50s, 60s, and it is not fun. My doctors have told me that this will go away on its own in time. I've been dealing with this for three years with the doctors for an additional three years before I saw doctors. So six years of waiting for it to go away on its own. I've kind of given up hope and I can only get a shot once every three months. I can't get a shot more often than that. So I'm a little paranoid with my arm right now and I found that that's really sort of impacting everything I do. I'm, because of that, I'm honestly really trying to teach myself to use my left hand more because it came as a really big shock to me when I could not move my arm at all, how much I couldn't do with my left hand. Like Howard was undressing me every day. Howard would help me get dressed. I couldn't take my bra off. Most of the time I didn't wear a bra, but you know, if somebody's coming to the house and work on, on something, I have to wear a bra, you know. So let's get a little up here, just a little highlight there. And if you like your nose, you can accent your nose. And that is my basic Zoom makeup. Something that looks pretty on camera that doesn't feel like I'm looking too different from my regular face. It's just, it's an almost no makeup look that is specifically designed for camera. I love you bunches. I have missed you a great deal. I know I seem low energy right now. I'm sorry. Um, but I've had a number of, of emails and a, a lot of you have reached out to me and I want to apologize for being absent for so long. Um, it's, you know, it's life, but I'm, I'm, I'm well, I'm healthy, I'm staying home, I'm staying safe. I hope you are doing the same. And I am looking forward to Christmas and I'm going to try to be making more videos for you soon. Now that I have my makeup downstairs and the background sort of set up, I still don't have a table or anything in front of me. <laughs> so I, Everything kind of came to a crashing halt and, and production stopped, but we'll get it back together soon and you'll be seeing more of me. And I'll try to do makeup that's a little more exciting and dramatic and I'll put on wigs or something if I can't style my hair and we'll have some fun and I'll be a little higher energy. But I love you bunches. I've missed you terribly and I hope you are doing well. I will talk to you very soon.